Hello, this is Corey in Learning Technologies again. We're now going to deploy a test that we have created. And the, here we are in the tests area that we got to from the control panel, but we can't deploy a test from here. We can identify the test that we have created and the ones that are not deployed, that is not visible to students. So I want to deploy this one in the assignments area. But you notice the box slash icon. That means that this area is not visible to students. So I'm going to show it so that students can see it. So now I go into the content area. This is where I want the test to be, or a quiz actually. And I go up to assessments. Now regardless of whether I call it a test, a quiz, an assessment, an assignment, an exam, Blackboard calls them all tests. So I click test. I don't create it because I've already created it. I'm going to pick it off of the list and it is Quiz 4 Ventricular Rhythms. And now I enter my test options. I can give it some description. Test availability, yes or no. Multiple attempts, yes or no. Force completion, we like to leave that off. That way if the student gets kicked out they can jump back in and pick up where they left off. You can prevent them from uh, doing that, looking up the answers, and then coming back and answering the questions by setting a timer. And you can also set it to auto-submit. So at the end of the time limit, it will automatically turn in the test. However, if you have students who require extra time on tests, this creates an issue, and you should talk to me or another instructional designer. You can display after or display until. You can put a due date on there, which helps sort things in the student's view of their grades. Of course, you want to include the test and the grade score calculations. And then the kind of feedback, by default, it's going to show them the score. You can also choose to show them their answers, the correct answers, and any feedback you might have written for the questions. One technique is to display just the score until the window for taking the test is closed, then turn on these other options so that students can go back and look at their performance on the test and use that as a study guide. And then finally, you can show all at once or one at a time. If you're using a random block, do not randomize the questions. They're already going to be randomized. If you're using just a set of questions, you may want to randomize them, as studies show that that deters students from even attempting to cheat. We used to recommend one at a time, but now Blackboard saves the students' work as they go along, about every 10 seconds. So it's safe to display them all at once. So now I'm just going to click Submit. And now, Quiz 4 is added to the bottom of the list of content, and a column has automatically been created in the gradebook. So that's how easy it is to deploy a test.